Okay, this is the Yeti 500X portable power station by Goal Zero. It delivers 500 watt hours of battery power and can power a wide range of devices. So it's equipped with four different port options, including AC, 12 volt, and 60 watt USB-C ports. So pretty powerful device here. It'll power just about anything from phones to portable coolers, you name it. You can charge the Yeti 500X from the sun, a wall outlet, or a 12 volt carport. So let's open this thing up and check it out. This is something that I purchased on my own. Uh, this was not sent to me by Goal Zero, uh, but this is something that uh, we thought would be helpful for us for car camping. So power anything. Let's see what this looks like here. Let's see, what, the, what are these? Oh, looks like these are, this is just the power cable. So here, I'll take that out so you can kind of see what the power cable looks like. They're pretty straightforward. It's got the plug, which we'll look at the device here in a minute. Let's get this out of the box. It's got a user guide. It's like just a booklet on all their power stations. So they do have a 200X version. And then of course this 500X version, among many others. Oh wow. Now it's got some good weight to it. It's got this really nice grab handle. Oh, I'm pretty impressed right out of the gate. So the Yeti 500X, let's take a look at this thing. Let's see what we think. So this unit normally retails for $549.95, but it's currently on sale for $499.95 on the Goal Zero website. So check that out before you make your purchase. Uh, and here's a pro tip too when you purchase one of these things. Uh, the first time you hop onto their website, they'll pop up a subscription to their newsletter. So put your email in there and you can get an extra 10% off. So that's a good tip. The Goal Zero Yeti 500X comes with an accessory charging cable, so that's what we just saw as we pulled it out of the box. Also has that user guide, catalog of compatible products, and um, this product's great for powering lights at a campsite, personal electronics. Uh, you could charge your camera in here as well, you know, your camera battery accessory. Uh, you could also charge small medical devices and other things around your home. You know, so say you wanted to make coffee while you're out on the road, you could hook a coffee maker up to this. You'll want to make sure and uh, check out the voltage that each of those devices uses just so you can calculate your power and make sure that you have enough battery power for what you're taking with you. I think this thing is going to be great not only for camping but I think it will also be great as a home emergency backup device too and that's another reason why I purchased it. But you'll notice it's got some lights here on the front. Let's take this little sticker off. Oh that's so satisfying. I love those. Um, but you'll notice uh, you just hit the button. It'll give you all the info. This thing is fully charged. You can see that it charges in 20, 40, 60, 80, and full increments. You'll see that it says 100%. Um, and right now it's using zero watts on the input and zero watts on the output. You've got uh, an input here. You've got an input on the back right here as well. Notice it says danger never exceed 22 volt input. So you want to make sure that if, if you lose this charging brick that you replace it with one that's not higher than that. Let's flip that back over. Again, this handle's like super sturdy and just easy to use. I really like that about this. Um, so here's your 12 volt output. Um, you've also got this that is compatible with a lot of their light systems. They do have some lights that they sell. Um, you'll notice that here's your USB area too. So if I wanted to plug something into this, I would turn that on with the button first. That enables the ports. You wanna keep your ports off when you're not using it so that you don't drain the battery. Um, 
but you go ahead and press it when you're ready to use it. Here's your 60 watt in out uh, USB-C port. Here's your 18 watt. And then you've got a 2.4 amp um, USB, what is it, USB-A, I think, uh, that connector. So you've got two of those ports as well. So we'll turn that one off. Um, you've also got the AC power, right? So this uses the pure sine wave inverter in the, in the system. So uh, you'll notice it shows 300 watts here. So you could plug uh, anything into this, like a uh, little adapter to charge your camera batteries. Uh, you could plug in a, an appliance to that as well. So you got some options. There's some flexibility there. So let's turn that back off. Light just means um, your screen here. You can cycle through uh, the info on the percentage that it's charged. Let's see what this units one does. It just shows uh, the units, watts versus voltage, amps, or hours, right? Watt hours. So um, that's pretty much it on this lithium battery by goal zero this again this is the yeti 500 if this unboxing has been helpful for you uh, please hit that subscribe button down below i'd really appreciate that thank you for joining me in this video and i'll see you in the next one